Those that have no chance. But look at that right here. Ain't nothing like some good leftovers for breakfast. Boy, listen, tell me. Mmm. Mmm. Good morning, social media socialites. Ah, good morning, social media socialites. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning here, and it is in the Dominican Republic, and it's Thanksgiving. You guys see the amazing view of the ocean? Yes. So, this is Thanksgiving Day here, and um, I'm actually at a villa that we have um, rented specifically to do an event for our expat lifestyle. We're doing a um, Thanksgiving expat lifestyle our expat entrepreneurs we're doing a event because us being away from home we want to make sure that everybody feels good and during the holidays sometimes it's some of the saddest roughest times for some people and so because my brother and i are working so hard on the restaurant getting the restaurant together we decided not to go home for thanksgiving and this is actually my very first time in all of my 38 years not spending thanksgiving with my mother i'm a mama's boy proud mama's boy and um, <clears throat> so it got me to thinking, I'm like, well, for other people, other expats that might have lost some family members and that might not have um, been able to share their Thanksgiving with the person that they love, let's create something for them. So we decided to come and rent this beautiful, amazing villa and to do a um, Thanksgiving. It just, the, the video the video gives the view no justice. It, it really gives the view no justice. But so um, this morning started off beautiful. Woke up this morning, um, getting everything together to be here and saw a beautiful, beautiful rainbow out of my balcony overlooking the ocean. Look what's outside. It's a beautiful Thanksgiving day. Wow, this is incredible. That's a rainbow. Wow. Wow. I ain't never in my life seen a rainbow so profound. Wow. And this video does it no justice. Wow. This is the significance of God's covenant. That's what they taught me. That's what the rainbow mean. After Thanksgiving. Oh, you see that rainbow? Wow. <sighs> then after that, um, got the video from my assistant showing the, the beautiful, delicious pig that we have. We have a whole roast pig that we have for um, Thanksgiving. Got that beautiful video of that beautiful, delicious pig just being roasted and all its juices. Then after that, caught a flat tire. <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs> On this thing right here. You wanna know why? Because I'm why, why, why. <laughs> I'm why, why, why. We did not stop. We made it. <laughs> why, why, why? why. <laughs> So on the way here, we caught a flat tire and um, yeah, it is what it is. But you want to know what? I did not freak out because of that rainbow that I saw. That rainbow, I believe, is a sign of God's covenant stating that he'll always be with us. So we're going to have a beautiful Thanksgiving dinner. The dogs is barking because they probably smell that pig that's in the um in the in the kitchen they smell all this food because you know they don't celebrate the um thanksgiving here in the dominican republic this is not a holiday that they celebrate so that's another reason why i wanted to get all the expats together so that we can have something for us specifically because you know the dominicans they don't celebrate thanksgiving so look 
I got to hurry up and get ready because the guests are about to get here. And if I don't see you guys again, remember, the only person stopping you from being successful is you. Go get them. Success is waiting for you. We about to get this party started and enjoy our Thanksgiving. You enjoy your Thanksgiving as well. today on the menu? Wow, we got the fried turkey, we have the roasted pig, we have uh, dressing, we have gravy, we have mac and cheese, we have some candy, we have, we have some colors, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have a gang of stuff. Um, and so who cooked all this? And peach cobbler, of course. And we're going to have some red velvet, chocolate, bonbon, oh cream cheese, little balls. Wow. Your brother named the Mamba. That was a perfect name. I had a name for him. And they're prepared by? Me, Chef Cece. Nice. Chef Cece. So what do you want everybody to experience today by having this this culin culinary extravaganza that you've created? Man, it's going to bring us back home. It's going to take us back to Atlanta, back to wherever. Everybody's from, like, everybody got here today from different parts of the U.S. So it just brings us together and just brings you that homey feeling, like back at Nana's house, like back at Mama's house. So it just brings you back a little bit. Awesome. It's not like Mama, uh -huh. but it's just like home. Yeah. Yeah. What can we? What can we do? Yeah. Um, I don't want to leave. No, no. Wow. It's gonna be so good, bro. It is. Wow. The regular pizza to that green pizza. The way they usually do it is they, they have the head up like this, and then like they start cutting out of Yeah. Pizza. I mean, that's when I've seen it. I'm gonna have my knife. You have a good knife? We can do that? I got my knife. Perfect. That's how we do it. The expat lifestyle. You understand what I'm saying? Expat lifestyle. That's how you do it. Expat lifestyle. That's how we do it. Free in the building. There you go. Yeah, special guest Santiago. Looking clean. Looking like a smooth. Smizzle. You dig? We got the fellas. We got the ladies and the fellas in the building. The crab, the crab dip is ready. We getting the, we getting yeah, the crab dip is ready. Oh, we, we got, we getting it all together right now. You know what I'm saying? We getting it all together right now. <laughs> we got fast, fast, fast Eddie in the building. What's going on, man? Hey, it's your world. I'm just glad that you let me finish. Okay, okay, got you, got you, got you. We got a gang of them in here. We got all the fellas in the in the building. Wah wah wah. <laughs> we got all the fellas in the building. 
Enjoying Thanksgiving. How y'all enjoying y'all Thanksgiving, man? Enjoy Happy Thanksgiving, man. If you ain't here, you missing out. Say it again. Let me repeat myself. If you ain't here, you missing out. Listen to me. You heard it from the man himself. Expat lifestyle. Expat. Hey, say, say it again. Expat lifestyle, man. Fuck with it. That's how. That's how it is. You did. You did. Oh, we got you. It is. It is what it is. <laughs> Yeah. You want to tell me the end of the comment afterwards? So this cocoa run is for what name again? The cocoa cream run is for what name again? The cocoa cream run is for what name again? And then you gotta try it for it out. Glad? Glad I can see. Thanksgiving, expat lifestyle. Expert lifestyle. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you think? All right, so who's going to do benediction? Go ahead, T Mac. I'll, I'll do it first. Go on and bless us, brother. Expert lifestyle. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you think? All right, so who's going to do benediction? Go ahead, T Mac. I'll, I'll do it first. Okay, okay here we go. Lord bless us, brother. You're right here in the light. Oh, so we're going to be all right. Okay. Well, don't have a camera. We all bow your heads and pray. God, we thank you for this food. We thank you for the drink. Bless the hands that prepared it. Bless yes, everybody God. that's here. We bless you, God, for the community, for the union that we have. Yes, we also pray for the attitude of thanksgiving. And we're giving thanks and grateful for the uh, relationships that we're building mm -hmm. that are already here, God, and the ones that are to come. We love you, God, and we thank you, and we believe all this is done. In your son, Jesus Christ, we need pray. Amen. 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 We were having a great time, and we here with my man, Kiko, my assistant. Listen, this guy is the man. So if you guys came out to our event, he's the one that made it happen. This is his first Thanksgiving. What do you think about Thanksgiving, man? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> You're very welcome, man. That's right. So, you know, you're part of the X-Men family. So, no, you know, no, no, no. that's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, we had a great time, man. So, listen, the food has been prepared. I'm sweating and hot. I just wanted to come out to be by the pool, listen to some music, and just chill for a second and let everybody eat. I'm like my grandmama. I eat last. I want everybody else to get a full plate first. And after they get their full plate, then I'm gonna come in and eat last. So, expert lifestyle, baby. Oh, look at that view. Oh, let's look at it even better. Oh, expert lifestyle, baby. <laughs> Thanksgiving, expert lifestyle. Thanksgiving. Woo -hoo. Beautiful. Beautiful. Expat lifestyle, baby. Living our best life. Not no hood life. Well, anybody can live in a barrio. Anybody can live in a hundred dollar apartment. Anybody can live like a Dominican. Okay, you live like a bumpy. Dominican, like a wealthy king, expat lifestyle, baby. <laughs> Why would I leave the U.S. to come to the Dominican Republic to live in a hundred dollar apartment? It's just like living in the hood. Por qué? Demelo. You don't even eat pork, but that look good. We got the master chef over here in the hat in the building. Assistant pimp number two and a half. Shalom. <laughs> Man, for all of the Americans to the Dominican Republic. In the building. In the building, baby. Look at this. We can be the whole Dominican community. Y'all just gonna know it off, huh? Y'all just 
The artist got kicked in already. <laughs> <laughs> is this your first expat ex experience? Excuse me, is this your first expat lifestyle event? And if not, please tell me about your experience with expat lifestyle events. No, this is not my first event. I've been to three others. I've been to, this is my second one with Dean. I've been with Russell for, for two. Each of them has been great. I recommend that they do their research before they get here. Or they talk to other people that have been here and get the knowledge that we have to pass it on to them before they get here. Although I understand that you could tell somebody something, they're not gonna listen. It's just like when you were the child, they said, don't put your hand in the fire. You put your hand in the fire because you didn't understand why they were telling you not to. So you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna give you good advice. You ain't gonna listen and you're gonna find out on your own. I like the life that I live here because my money goes further. I live better here than I would live back in New York. I don't look at what I'm wearing. I'm wearing flip flops. I can't wear flip flops right now in New York. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. I ain't had on, I ain't wore shoes in 10 years. That's how long I've been here. Right. So this is heaven. The air is, the air is cleaner. The virus is, is here, but it's not as bad as it is in the States. Begin again. T tell us your uh, your name. What's your expat experience? Uh, my name. I'm going to give you Saba Haba. Okay. It means place of love and place of peace. That's what I said. My expat experience now is fabulous. Before there was a learning curve because you have to find out your fit for the new culture that you're about to go to because what you do in the U.S. It's not the same movement in another country. So once I found out how to do that, it's been smooth sailing. Okay. Is this your first expect lifestyle event? Yes, it is. Okay. And what, what's your experience been like? Oh, it was great. And the reason it was great for me was because I was around people of similar minds, like ideas, same movement, and they had a real relaxed mindset and energy. Okay. Okay. Is there something that you would do to make it better in future events? Uh, no, not really. Because I'm real big on energy. So the more people, the more uh, opportunity there is for there to be incompatibility. Um, oh, yeah, there is one, one thing I would do is probably have someone be just a full-time type of MC, hostess, just to make sure everybody is being involved. Hey, can you tell everybody your, your name and your expat experience? All right, my name is uh, Leon from Ohio originally. I've uh, been in Durham, North Carolina the last 10 years. My uh, expat lifestyle is a little different than the majority of the group here, meaning I'm kind of doing the phase approach. I'm not down here permanently now. I started off. Two years ago, came, checked it out for three days. And each visit now, uh, I've been uh, extending my stay. Went to a week, two weeks. Mm -hmm. And now what I'm working on is uh, make sure I got that income coming from the States to support that full-time lifestyle. So I'm an expat in transition. Okay. Say. So what would you recommend to someone who also wants to go on the same journey? Uh, the main thing I would recommend is um, your network will increase your net worth. So just network. Get with a good group of people. This expat lifestyle is a great group. Uh, a lot of information from uh, the place to rent to transportation to get around to setting up phone service. So just getting with like-minded individuals and having the right network. Okay, and is there anything that you'd like to see in the future? 
in the X Factor events? No, it looked like the X Factor lifestyle y'all got going on. Uh, T Mac and Dean is uh, a wonderful thing. Y'all, y'all got it going in the, the right direction. Just uh, keep us brothers who still in the matrix in the loop. Give us a little heads up so we can plan to attend these events. Thank you. Please tell us your name and your X Factor experience. What's going on, beautiful people? It's me, LG, your favorite internet marketer. And what is your expect experience? Um, so far it's been absolutely wonderful. I, I love being out here. I love the camaraderie that comes from uh, being in a group of expats. Um, I really wish that more people would realize that they can escape the matrix and really come and enjoy life and live the way it should be lived. So, what would you recommend for someone who, who's thinking about becoming an expat? Um, do your research. Definitely do your research. There's a lot of places to go. You know. Um, the first thing you think about is a different country being cheap. And that's true, but there's a lot of other things to consider. All right, so do your research about what's going on in that country. Make sure you solidify an income source from the U.S. You do not want to come to whatever country you choose and try to make money in that country. You want to secure a residual, in, a residual stream of income in your country before you move. And then come on out so you can live your best life stress-free. Okay. Now, you said residual income. Can you explain that to some people who may not understand um, so what residual income is? Here's where residual income is really, really simple. Residual income is when you do something one time, but you continue to get paid for it. For example, like your cell phone bill. We all know we signed up for that cell phone bill one time, but we pay every month. So, you know, there's a lot of different um, resources out there where you can get involved in things. Um, and, you know, through a little work, a little dedication, you can get a residual check coming in from the U.S., but you can live your best life world. Yeah. Thank you. And what do you like most about being in the expat group? Uh, you know what? The brotherhood, the brotherhood, the camaraderie from the brothers and the sisters out here. You know, um, like-minded individuals. You know, when you're in the States, there's all different types of people. Some people are trapped in the matrix, as we see, you know, they think there's only one way. But when you come live abroad and you meet the other expats that are living abroad, you know, it's a strong chance that you're around like-minded individuals. You know, so we all can link up and have a lot of positivity, you know, and uplift and go further fast. Absolutely. And what would you like to see in future Expect Lifestyle events? You know what? Just more of what we're already doing. I mean, you guys are doing a great job of keeping the camaraderie, doing a great job of putting the events together. You know, people come and feel warm and feel welcome and feel respected. And I'd like to just see that keep going. In fact, any way I can contribute to that, just let me know. Back the video. Tell us your name and your expat experience. Oh, my name is Sean Barrage. My expat experience, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, by the way. Uh, my expat experience so far has been lovely. It is a lifestyle that I am looking forward because I am in transition right now of becoming an expat. Can you tell us more about that? What does it mean to be in transition and becoming an expat? In transition means that I am putting myself in position to become an expat. Uh, John just spoke before me, uh, spoke about residual income. I'm in the process of setting up residual income. I actually have some going right now. I'm trying to get more because I want to live the lifestyle that I want to live while I'm living abroad. Okay, is this your first time, your first lifestyle event? Uh, no, this is not. This is not. I've, I've, I've participated, participated in a number of um, expat lifestyle events, uh, group events. Uh, but yes, this is not my first, and every last one has been a very positive, very fun experience. Uh, an experience that uh, really makes you think twice about living in the Matrix again. Okay. Is there anything that, that you like most about the Expat Lifestyle events? Uh, right now, I love the brotherhood, I love the camaraderie, I love the way brothers are getting together, they're, they're linking, they're putting minds together, coming up with, with, with even more ideas to be able to live the lifestyle they want to live for. Okay. you have any recommendations for someone else that, that's transitioning or is thinking about becoming an expert? Transitioning, do your work, do your research, position yourself. Do not try to come if you're not in position, because you'll find yourself back in the matrix, but you don't want to. Biggest problem right now. See, okay. I work online. I'm a nurse. I'm a COVID whatever. <laughs> so, um, back up, back up, back up. Tell us if it's your first expat lifestyle event. First and then, uh, how did you get, get here? Yeah, tell us I who you are. I came here in 2018. And your name is? Colleen Huey. Welcome, Colleen. And um, 
I lived in Sasua. I didn't know it was a sex pack destination, but I found out very quickly. Um, and I lived there for a while, but I was cool. And then after after I opened up my store, I opened up my store in Sosua. I was doing hair extensions and boutiques and stuff, and it was doing very, very well. And then um, when they started chasing the girls away, then I started to lose money. And then I kind of wanted a change. I wanted a, a different atmosphere. Because after a while, that like, Pedro Presante became like a, it was like a meat market, you know? So then I moved to La Estancia in Puerto Plata. But I was still going back and forth because I was still working, um, physically working. And then I, I got stuck doing a nursing contract in Atlanta. Couldn't leave. And as soon as they opened up, I was here, and I've been here ever since. So my son and I, we live over there by a little, like a little jardin, or whatever. Anyway, he doesn't like to tell people he lives with his mother. Okay. <laughs> so, and uh, and you, you you were telling us what actually brought you here tonight, and why you dressed oh, so nice, and what was what was going on. Because I've been watching this man for so long. I've been watching him for so long. And I, like, and I was even talking to a friend of mine, right? She's not my best friend. I'm my business partner. She lives in Tampa. And, and I said, he's just like, is there something about him? I said, he's, he's my mentor in my head. Mm -hmm. And and um, I just love how he's just like unapologetically over the top. Like, yes, <laughs> I got it going on. And yeah, I don't give a damn who don't like it, you know? And um, she was like, yeah, but you know, hey, if you got it, he got it, he got it. I said, but he got that little funny laugh that sometimes, <laughs> you know, and then I said, I'm going to do the course. Because I, I said, whatever, however he got to this point, I want to be there because mm. I am a serial entrepreneur. I've been doing, you name it, I have lost so much money, but I've been using my personal credit. And I said, you know, it, it's only over when you're dead. That's the way I look at it. So. I started the course, and I'm following it step by step by step. And every time he gets on, I call everybody. I said, what? Dean's on the live. Get on the live. Get on the live. <laughs> you know, the last one that you did, I'm like, did you get on the live? You know what you missed? <laughs> you know, so now everybody, all my friends in the States, they all know about Dean Cole and his, you know, they, everybody wants to jump on it now. So they're awesome. like looking at me like I'm the test case. Yeah, you know, they want to see how you do it. I said, don't worry about me because I'll be fine. You know, getting using the business credit because, like I was telling them, there's a business I want to open right now, and that's what I'm shooting for to get this business credit. To get um, and I have a couple of other things like up. Um, so I just want to now not use my own personal money that I mm -hmm. work for to open businesses, and I. I've gone to the point now where I'm tired of trading my time for money. And although being a nurse is not anything to look down on, but I have gone to the point now where it's like, you know, you know when it's just that part of that, it's inside of you like, I'm not built to work for anybody, you know? I need to be my own boss. And and that's just where I'm right now. So I'm halfway there. I'm 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 about to apply for my dunce number and I'm so Look excited. at you, wow. Yeah. So, so you already have your business, you already established. I, I, I've always had LLCs. You, so you have several. Yes, I've always had LLCs, but, but now he put it in context for me. Yeah, how you can use it. How you can use it to leverage. Yes. You know, so now he's like, I binge watch his videos. I watch the <laughs> old ones. I don't watch any new ones. And I'm just like, this is, he is me. He yes. is me in my head, you know, like. I gotta be like him. I, I don't care what anybody wanna say that he's show off or whatever. I don't care. I feel that if you, whatever you work hard for and you earn it, you live it. You know, enjoy what you work for. And he's a wealth of information because there's so much that I didn't know that if I had known this 10 years ago, there's no telling where I'd be right now. Yeah.
Yeah. is that in the United States, the U.S. did such a great job of making the black queen, pushing the black girl magic and pushing the, um, the, the woman's agenda, the Me Too movement and the woman's movement that, that, that spilled over from the Me Too movement. But in them doing so, it also left the black man without a place. So one of the things that we are creating here is that yes, we have our black queens and the U.S. does such a great job of promoting black, black queens but out here, we are promoting us as black kings. So that way we're able to meet in the middle to have that camaraderie. So we're able to live the life that we're supposed to live without any um, issues, any, any residue from a lot of toxic femininity that has spilled over into dealing with masculinity. So one of the things that a lot of people ask like, Dean, well, how do I get into the expat lifestyle? How can I become an, an, an expat entrepreneur? Well, one thing is that I've created an online course that walks you step by step through the process of becoming an expat, and not just an expat, but an expat entrepreneur that's gonna teach you how to make first world income and live in a third world country. So that way, when you're making 30,000 a year working for yourself, it's as if you're making 250,000 a year. When you're making 100,000 a year working, doing your own business as an entrepreneur, you can travel to, to the Philippines, you can travel to Colombia, to the Dominican Republic where we are now, and live as if you're making millions a year. So if you want to become an expat um, entrepreneur, follow the link below and it'll take you directly to where you're able to go so that you can become an expert entrepreneur and you will instantly be added into this community of other like-minded men and women, brothers and sisters that are living their best life and I do everything in my power to help you become the best expert entrepreneur that you can.